Step 5. Perform further analyses. The advantage of using stat tools is that it lets you perform many statistical analyses very quickly and easily. As mentioned earlier, it is up to you to ask the right questions about the data set and then run the appropriate stat tools procedures. Of course, these depend on the objectives of the analysis. However, stat tools has many tools, some relatively simple and others more complex for analyzing data. One particular tool would be examined here, regression analysis. So far, you have seen that on average, the male salaries are larger than the female salaries. This clearly raises the question of gender discrimination at this bank. But the bank might provide a counterargument that males get paid more because they are older and have more years of experience. The analysis so far has not, quote, controlled for these other two variables when comparing males to females. But regression can. And best of all, stat tools can run one or more regressions in a matter of seconds. To run a regression, select Regression from the Regression and Classification drop-down list. To bring up this dialog box. There are many options here, but to keep it simple for this quick start tutorial, you can accept all of the defaults and simply choose the dependent or D variable and the independent or I variables I will select here. Salary for dependent, female, age, and years for the independent. Note that this is a multiple regression. There are other types, but we'll keep it simple with multiple regression. There are optional graphs that you can check, but I won't for right now. I'll just click OK. This immediately produces the results you see here. Although this is a lot to digest, and you need some background in regression analysis to understand it all, two key numbers are the following. First, the R squared value, interpreted as about 49%, indicates that about 49% of the variation in salaries has been explained by the variables in the regression equation, gender, age, and years of experience. Second, the coefficient of the female variable, close to minus 13,000, indicates that even after controlling for age and years of experience, Females average close to $13,000 less in salary than males. By this time, by the way, you might have noticed that the 01 female variable was created in the first place so that it could be entered in this regression equation for salary. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to measure the effect of gender on salary with regression. Now it's your turn. Run this regression analysis or any other statistical analyses with stat tools and using your knowledge of statistics interpret the results.